there's a problem when it takes me multiple tries to make a video not because I was botching I was saying everything I truly believed but because I showed absolutely no interest and I've looking at my Facebook wall nobody's really concerned within the neighborhood this show is based on about the contents of MTV's Washington Heights anymore that's not to say that they weren't concerned about getting a shout out for me so I'm gonna give a shout out to Johan straight from the Caribbean lawn finance up you give a shout out to my son JJ the girls better hit me up if you want his number I'm not gonna give it out right now cuz I don't want any 50 year old niggas finding his number and trying to kidnap him that's just how it is uh, David Gazzari we've been friends since 2008 Shout out to David Guzzari. And Bernie Reynoso, the first person to get shouted out twice in, by me. So I want to get started with this. Yeah, you saw my leg right there. That's a sexy ass leg, right? Alright. First and foremost, Ludwin is the badass of this show. He truly is. All the bitches want to have sex with Ludwig. He went from one love triangle with his shitty girlfriend he left, who was probably the baddest bitch in the whole show, in episode 2, and Frankie, and now there's a hint that he might be going after Taylor, who just left her Puerto Rican bitches, and now with his a white bitch. It looks like he could be her bro. Some white-ass motherfucker with blonde hair and bluish-greenish eyes. I can never pay attention to eyes that are, and see whether they're blue or green. Which is weird since green is my favorite color. But that's not what this is about. What this is about is the fact that this is probably one of their best episodes, and I still don't care enough to make a review about it, just because they lost so much momentum already. I mean, every scene involving Rico and the conflicts with his brother, how he really didn't want to start that fight, but it was sort of building up inevitably and tragically, and how he really regrets not being there for him when he was younger, what's happened with their parents, how he's not really doing anything with his acting career, he's too cool for school, he doesn't have the E... He's too egotistical to start acting for real. And his bro is just... His bro's got conflicts of his own. So there's that problem. And that's where all the good acting comes from. Then there's... Ludwin. And his issues with Alexis. The scenes where he's talking to Alexis. He's worried that Anytime Alexis goes out, it might be the last time he sees him because the cops are going to take his ass. And he's almost 18. And then there's a problem with the Abuelita. The Abuelita thinks, thinks that uh, Ludwig shouldn't get involved too much. It's only a matter of time. And they both feel like this shouldn't have happened to Alexis. He shouldn't have gone down this path. But Alexis is confined. He, he realizes his time is up. He's... Whenever it happens, it happens. When the cops catch him, they catch him. That's it. And to me, the whole thing is kind of sad. The robbery charges and how it's been built up. And this is where all the good acting comes. Problem is that they make this... They make several mistakes. While there aren't any rooftop parties, there's one. It's fo more focused on the parks, and yes, Heights boys do have a lot of get-togethers at the parks. That's true. It's a nice public place. It's efficient. You can bring all your friends there. You know that if shit goes down, that's a good place for it to go down. With that said, though, and I recognize all those parks, trust me. One is like two blocks away from me. That being said, Ludwin has been like this the whole 
for 30 minutes of the show, just like this. He's been, had his head down, he's not really focused on making eye contact. He, he's really avoiding and averting it, and that to me is a sign that he's not a good top guy. They should put that to Audubon since they're not focusing on his shitty rap career anymore. Since Audubon has the charisma, Ludwin is just like disengaged at all times. We don't need that for the top character. We're establishing this, and this is what made me laugh when I was watching this. This made me laugh like a motherfucker. Ludwin is a de facto bad boy of the whole series. Because all the bitches want him. He doesn't seem like it since he's not as attractive as Rico or his bro. He doesn't have... He doesn't have the skill level of... Let's say a Jimmy or whoever that baseball player guy was who's completely irrelevant. And he, you know what, Audubon's hot and he actually looks like he might be a real Heights boy, so. He doesn't have all those qualities. To me, he kind of looks like, he kind of looks like a punk that I want to punch his face. And that's how I felt about him since I first saw him. But yeah, he might be a homo. I definitely doubt that he's Dominican. He's probably Puerto Rican. I doubt it. I don't want to hear this shit about him and being DR and everything. Nah, that guy's Puerto Rican. I don't give a fuck. Hold on, guys. But you know what? There's a lot of good scenes for this episode. The plot sucks. I don't feel like it should be about him and Frankie since him and Frankie are socially awkward up the ass. It should basically be about these little minor scenes. These are minor subplots. The main point of all of this is basically the love triangles. The love triangles never work for this show. We've gone through three already. It, it's not going to last. This isn't for this show. If you have three different ones within three episodes and it doesn't work. With that being said, it's better than American Idol. Because American Idol is a show for narcissists by narcissists. People watch that show because they want to see a sad sob story. Or they want to see some guy hilariously fail in trying to impress the judges to justify their own failures. So that kind of makes me feel a lot more forgiving about this show. Because this show is about people that are actually not, even if they are narcissistic, they're not as, they're not made for narcissists. This show is marketed towards Spanish people. That's about it. Not narcissistic Spanish people, it's just Spanish people in general. And guys that want to go to the Heights and fit that commercial Heights look that MTV's trying to sell a new commercialized look every time for every generation, for every group out there because they want to stratify as much people to reel in cash from everywhere and diversify. So that's what they're going to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The good thing is that this part is less than 9 minutes. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick.